Now at 10, it's a season of love, but also of loneliness. How seniors are finding family in their living facilities and sharing the spirit of Christmas ahead. And we're having a cold but clear night here in the Pine Belt. What can you expect for the rest of the week? Well, I'll give you all the details coming up. And later in tonight's show, a grieving father hopes the story of his son's last few hours can be a warning to parents and prevent sextortion from claiming more lives. Your news at 10 starts right now. Tonight, WDAM 7 News is proud to be on your side with WDAM 7 News at 10. Well, good evening and thank you so much for joining us here at 10. I'm Kyra Lampley. Our dreary weekend turned sunny today, but we are expecting some chilly mornings coming up. So we're going to get things started off with our first alert weather team. Hannah, we're getting cold again tonight. And I, when I say cold, I mean really <laughs> cold. Well, skies hopefully warm up for us tomorrow. Yeah, Kyra, eventually we will warm up just a little bit tomorrow to about the low 60s across the area. But for right now, it is very cold out there. We're going to be into the 30s for those overnight lows as we go throughout the next several hours. And we do have some frosty nights ahead, so I'll, I'll give you more details on that in just a second. But looking at the radar right now, sitting clear across the board, not even any cloud cover out there. Though we did have some cloud cover come and go, especially this morning, really clearing out by noon. And then we had a few clouds over in Wayne County passing by. But other than that, we have been clear over the past six hours here in the Pine Belt. Temperatures right now sitting into the 40s and starting to get into the 30s up in Taylorsville and Columbia and Foxworth as well. The rest of us into the 40s, 46 for Hattiesburg, New Augusta, 45 down in Poplarville, 40 for Prentice and 43 down in McGee. And as we go throughout the next several hours, again, we'll get into the 30s for those overnight lows across the area. I'll give you more details on the rest of the week in just a few minutes. Well, thank you so much for that, Hannah. Christmas is now just over one week away, and while many of us will be sharing lives and love with our family members, the holidays can be a season of loneliness, particularly for our senior citizens. RJ Harrison tells us how one Hattiesburg senior facility is ensuring that all residents feel valued and appreciated. This is home. For resident Dorothy Richards, her 12 years at Brookdale Senior Facility have shown her the meaning of love. This is my family. All these people, these are sweet people. Friday's Christmas party with music, food, and of course Santa is just one way the facility is ensuring that residents feel a sense of community and belonging this holiday season. We put this event together to give families time to come into town, um, to see their residents. Um, and we also ask the families to come through and um, drop off gifts for their loved ones that Santa will be able to pass out for them. Studies show that one in four seniors won't see their family for the holidays which can make some feel lonely or even forgotten. Typically it is the distance. Um, a lot of them have significant job roles that they have, so it's harder sometimes to be able to come into the community and see their loved ones all the time. Richard says she's made it her mission to keep her new family in good spirits. Nothing, you know, expensive, but uh, just to let them know they're thought of because I don't know how many of them will have family here. Veteran and retired preacher Marshall Burnett says the party reminded him of how we should always treat each other. He gives us all these opportunities to share his spirit, to love one another, and just to be in his presence and, and experience his love. In Hattiesburg, I'm Jay Harrison, WDAM 7, on your side. Well, residents say they hope their stories will inspire families to embrace each other more often and enjoy their time together while they still have it. And if you're celebrating this year, you may have noticed spiked prices this Christmas season down to the traditional tree. On average, customers nationwide are paying about $80 to $100 for a live tree. That's according to the American Christmas Tree Association. It shows a 10% increase compared to last year. One Christmas tree seller points to inflation, high shipping costs, and even annual weather as driving factors at his lot. Uh, we've, we've had to find different freight companies to bring them in. That's a really high expense in, in getting the trees here. Um, and then we've, we've swapped around growers as well to be able to um, find the best price that we can get. And it takes three years for the average Christmas tree to grow big enough to sell. 
And taking a live look at traffic on Hardy Street right now for a quick reminder that Hattiesburg's Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over campaign is underway. Hattiesburg Police joined law enforcement agencies nationwide to participate. The campaign began on Friday and lasts through January. So when you hit the roads, you can expect to see increased numbers of officers. And the Hattiesburg Police Department says, quote, let's keep the season merry and bright by refusing to drink and drive. So celebrate the season responsibly, Pine Belt. And sticking with the Hub City, two Hattiesburg High School students are Heisman Scholarship winners, winning against hundreds of applicants. Layla Esters and Joel Vaughn II are those two students. They are both scholar athletes and are star students on and off the field. Esters and Vaughn are participants in the middle college program at their school as well, meaning that they are getting their associate's degree while also earning their high school diploma. Both students say that they didn't see this coming and are proud of their accomplishments. I was actually really excited. Like, it was right after my game. So my mom was like, Layla, you saw you won? I hurried up and jumped on Facebook, read the email, and I was like, wow. Um, just knowing that I can do it, knowing that I can do it, and knowing the people around me, the school, the community, my family, that's really the inspiration. I was surprised, and then I was excited because it's not like something that I was expecting. I knew I had like a good resume, but like you said, a lot of people apply for it. And I was just grateful to be recognized. Well, both students will graduate in May and plan to continue their college educations at senior institutions. And keeping you informed tonight, renewed hope for people in Poplarville that a new permanent post office is in their future. The news coming almost two years after the original building's roof collapsed. Poplarville Mayor Louise Smith says this week marked the first time a U.S. Postal Service representative contacted her about the post office situation. In January of 2022, the post office roofs collapsed due to termite damage. Since then, mobile trucks at the bottom bottom of a hill have served as the temporary post office. Earlier this week, Mississippi Congressman Mike Ezell took the Postal Service to task during testimony on Capitol Hill. Ezell said it's been more than 700 days without answers. But my constituents were told not to worry. This will be just a short term situation while a permanent building is located. I must have a different definition of short term because temporary trucks are still in use. And just today I received information that the heater in the truck died, forcing postal workers to work without heat. And it was 31 degrees this morning in Poplarville, Mississippi, and several of the senior citizens fell walking up the hill trying to get to the mail. Poplarville's mayor says it's likely a new post office will go in an existing building in the city. And a federal agency says to watch out for fraud when it comes to shipping your holiday gifts and packages. The Federal Trade Commission says scammers are sending fake invoices and shipping messages trying to trick people into sharing their personal information. Scammers will send shoppers messages claiming that they missed delivery attempts. And in order to receive their package, they must click on a link to reschedule. Consumers should not respond to unexpected delivery messages or to an invoice for items not not ordered. You can't imagine. It, a lot of things are very much so just like a bad dream from that point forward. Coming up at 10, a father whose family endured unimaginable trauma works to prevent others from suffering a similar tragedy. Plus, a fraction of a billion dollar settlement, Alex Jones makes an offer to Sandy Hook school shooting families after the clearing bankruptcy.